wanted to do a quick little legging haul just like I promised last week because I did ask you which brand you were most curious about and the highly requested brand was Amplify. I had actually seen them on my own before, never pulled the trigger because it just seemed to be like the same old song and dance seamless with the ruching butt, but it's not. I would have to say this is the most compression I've ever found in a medium sized legging ever. Like the compression is giving extra small and then the rest of the legging is very comfortable. Like it just feels like the most amazing hug on every inch of my curves. The material feels like the thickest, stretchiest pantyhose material that you have ever had. It is not see-through at all. However thin they may feel, however painted on they may look, they are absolutely in 100% not see-through, which I find like mind-blowing and they have to be made of some sort of like NASA astronaut fabric because it's insane. But I absolutely love them. This is the Amplify in Evergreen. The bodysuit is like a Amazon bodysuit, I don't know. They didn't have any, I mean, not that they didn't have them. I just wasn't really too concerned with buying the tops. Like they didn't like, <gasps> You know, they didn't like kill me that I had to have them. I don't know, it was weird. But I was mostly concerned with trying on the legging for you guys and it, pfft, it's worth it is all I'm gonna say. This is probably one of the best materials I have ever tried in my entire life. The way that they found a balance between being thick and not thin enough to be see-through, but still thin, is like, I need to know the science. I'm looking at the, I'm, I was gonna say I'm looking at the ingredients. I'm looking at their tag to see what they made it with. I'm just doing my little research because these were incredibly made. Okay, and although we talked about this on the last episode, when the waistband is the same material and same compression as the legging, you're not gonna have a snatch. However, they did the seams a bit tighter. So this does give you a nice little, and also don't mind, my abs are probably not on point right now because I just ordered my daughter pizza and I couldn't help it. I couldn't help it, I couldn't help it, I couldn't help it. I, I kept myself down to the slice and a half, but I, you know, I couldn't help it. The top is a Ritzia that I cut and sewed into a halter. It's one of my favorite things to do when I have like crazy anxiety is to sew. So, oh my God, girls who have anxiety, men who have anxiety, I mean, I guess men aren't gonna really want to sew, are they? Anyway, I'm getting off track, but that's definitely one of the things you could do when you feel anxiety. Either way, this is an amazing little suit. It's breaking up. All right, so this is not a scrunch butt, however, it still has a very flattering seam, so, you know, does it sing? Very flattering. Squat proof. Here come the influence of comments from me. Me showing my body in leggings is me doing what the fuck I want. How about that? How about that? Sorry, male. Why are we doing that? Just watch it if you like it. Don't watch it if you don't. It's that simple. Let's do that. All right, so I'm not like a dummy fan of this style. Oh, let me tell you what the last style was. I don't know, they don't have the tag on it, but I will link them below. I know that I always say that, and then sometimes I do, sometimes I don't, but I'm sorry, I promise I will definitely link these because out of all of these leggings, they're 10 out of 10, 10 out of 10. Like there's nothing wrong with these leggings, absolutely nothing. Like they are durable, they are not see-through, they are incredibly flattering, they are comfortable. They check all the 
all the boxes. You know what I mean? These I'm not like terribly in love with just because the material is a little compressive and it's not as, it's not as stretchy. I don't hate them. I don't hate them, I promise. But they're just not, just not, you know? But they're still fire. So I would give these a 8.5. The other two are a 10, like straight up 10s. And I actually got the Amplify in a gray and I'm gonna end it off with an iPhone shot of that one because, you know, it deserved to see the gray in this fire. But I'm not, not mad at the ozone. Just could be better. You know what I mean? Like they just kind of smoosh your butt. The iPhone. All right guys, so I'm gonna do an iPhone shot. These are the same Amplify leggings that I tried in the Evergreen. Incredible, like, amazing i'm definitely taking notes and i can't have no complaints about this brand absolutely none and i was a very harsh critic on that last legging because when i did the iphone shot i could see how flattering they actually are so while they may be a bit more compressive than i'm used to they still were fire these are the amplify and i don't know what color but I'm gonna put the links below so you can find them and you can buy them. Yeah, I would say the Amplify is definitely my favorite. However, the red ones were incredibly comfortable, very appropriate, very, they just felt comforting. Like I know that I'm not gonna have to worry. They're also not too sexy. Like if the scrunch butt is not for you, that is the one because it's still super flattering. The seams are made so that they do kind of like your cheeks and they're still not as in your face as some women feel about the scrunch butt. Although, we all know I love a scrunch butt. Until next time, I am going to do my Q&A. My girlfriend Lily was unable to come out this week. However, I took some of your good, 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 good questions. And I'm gonna ask again, I'm gonna put another little poll. Please feel free to comment below because if you comment below on my YouTube, I'm definitely gonna use your questions. Just make sure they're substantial. Nothing disrespectful, nothing to, you know, you know, you know what y'all are doing. Y'all, you know, you know. So comment below, I will answer your question 100% and I'm really looking forward to having that because you guys know I love Alley Talks. Ask Alley, it's my favorite segment. So until next time, I'm gonna do a QA. and I'm filming a gym vlog for you tomorrow at my new training facility. Thank y'all for having patience with me. I have just moved cross country. We have probably two bedrooms with furniture right now. We are not settled and I have a million and a half things going on along with a crazy ass toddler. So, thank you. Until next time, please be safe, please be kind. Please be kind, please be kind. I love you guys.